now. This is a 1977 Jaguar XJ6L, originally owned by the Gross family in Van Nuys, California. I've now put about 50 hours of detailing and upgrading into the car. It is the straightest Jaguar that I've ever seen, and I've now had a welder, an engine installer, an engine builder, and my personal mechanic, as well as two or three um, vintage car devotees look at it. No one's ever seen one like this. The first thing you notice is the crease on the back seat. It's identical on each side. No one ever sat in these back seats. It is original carpeting, which I lifted, removed the British insulation, which was cork impregnated with tar, and replaced with proper sound deadening. Everything on the car works as original, except the fuel gauge because someone decided to link the gas tanks, and they're the old cork plug system that probably didn't work. When I went and wood bed lined the trunk, which is removable to access the spare tire, in the corner I left two heavy gauge wires. Someone could put a fuel cell in here, hook the fuel gauge up to it, and use the original saddle tanks, which I'm using, as vent tanks. Upon doing that, there will be no fuel smell. The car in 1997 was upgraded in California, the sticker is still on the door, with a 5.7 liter or small block Chevy 350. It passed California emissions and was still in the same family. What happened after that, I cannot tell you. But I can tell you the last owner appears to have removed the California emissions and put on MagnaFlow exhaust with the intention of making this car beefier. The car was in Kentucky, and so he put on a Holly four barrel carb with dual electric chokes you can see staring at you. He changed out the throttle body to Edelbrock. Now, the story I was told was he was fixing it up for his wife and trying to make it more user friendly. I honestly believe he may have run into some trouble with his modifications and had to change out the carburetor. All I know is whatever you see wrapped in red is a system I've inspected and have made sure the wiring fuses are intact and workable. What you see wrapped in white is anything related to climate control that has new hoses that I've redone. If it's anything else that's zip tied under this hood, it is probably thermal wrapping to protect it because the engine with the low flow exhaust does run a little warmer than standard. I've now run it over 200 miles. There are no leaks. There are no misfires. It handles an idle of 800 without any trouble with its wonderful THM 800 transmission with overdrive. Um, you did notice a bunch of wires by the battery. The car originally had inboard brights, outboard headlights. As long as I was working on wiring, the outboard are now brights and dims. The inboard are standard headlights, but built under the grill where the window wash is, is a photo sensor that turns them on and makes them into daytime running lights that turn on in the dusk. So the car, if you forget to turn on, your lights will always have headlights automatically. It is a car that is extremely original, except for the engine swap and exhaust. And it is extremely rust free. Um, recent system upgrades, I could rattle off forever, but very simply, uh, lighting has been updated, climate control updated, headlights, all burnt out light bulbs replaced, all gauges cleaned and calibrated, all surfaces polished oil, all trimmed with felt backing and re gluing of leather. Um, Old soundproofing removed and the undercarriage as well as interior has fresh soundproofing. Modern um, butyl fire resistant soundproofing through the trunk. New wiper motor, park switch and wiper transmission. New heating hoses and thermocouple belts. Tensioner, hoses are done. New power steering rack and neoprene bushing. Full thrust alignment. Inspected by, as I said, an engine builder a racing engine installer, a U.S. Navy welder certified in aluminum who now exclusively does auto welding, and a classic British car enthusiast. Everybody gave it a rating of 95% plus. Um, 
You just have to decide which direction to go. The car is prepped by me to move to electronic spark advance and a fuel injection system if you want to make it a daily driver, but I do have the pump if you want to convert it back to the original British system and use the twin tanks off of the dashboard. Other than that, you'll see a seat protector and an armrest protector because this is an original interior without a single crack in the leather or hole, and I want to keep it that way. The only wear on the interior is right here. From the original owner's elbow, you can see a few stitches that have been decayed by oil. But it's an amazing, amazing find. 